So in this video, we will learn how to send WhatsApp messages for Razorpay payment. Now suppose guys, you are a business owner who is using Razorpay as a payment gateway to collect payments from your customer. Now guys, suppose you want that whenever you receive the payment, you want to send a WhatsApp notification to your customer. Now guys, you can automate this process and the trigger of this automation will be receiving of payments on Razorpay and the action will be sending the confirmation message on the successful payment to the same customer who made the payment. Now how you can set up this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to a browser and search for pabbly pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabbly Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabbly Connect account. And after signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabbly. Here, just click on access now below Pabbly Connect. After that, we will see that we have reached to Public Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on Create Workflow and give this workflow a name. Now, I want to name my workflow as Razorpay to WhatsApp and click on Create. Now, we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is Trigger window. Second one is Action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get all the details and the data of new payments which we are receiving on our Reserve Pay account in Pabbly Connect. Then after that using Pabbly Connect, we will send the WhatsApp message to the customers who actually made the payment. Now guys, here in Trigger window, in Choose App, we will search for Razor Pay. Just select Razor Pay. And after that, in Trigger Event from the drop-down, select Payment Captured. Just select it. After selecting our Trigger Event, Pabli Connect give us a Webhook URL. Now using this Webhook URL, we will make the connection between Razor Pay and Pabli Connect. Just copy this Webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. So after copying the webhook URL, just go to your Razorpay account's dashboard. So this is the dashboard. And on the left side, we can see several options out of which there's an option named as settings. Just click on settings. And after that, after clicking on settings, just click on this webhook section to reach this webhook page. And then on the right side, you can see there is add new webhook button over here. Just click on it. And here a dialog box appears in front of us. And the first thing it asks us is the webhook URL. Now here we have to paste the same webhook URL which we have copied from Pabbly Connect. Just paste it over here. The secret key and alert emails can be ignored and we will directly move to active event. So here in active event from this list, we have to select payment.captured because we want to we want Razorpay to send the data for every new payment it captures to Pabbly Connect. And after that, just scroll down and click on continue. Now we can see that we have successfully connected Razorpay with Pabbly Connect using this webhook URL. After making this connection guys, what we have to do, we have to make a test payment on our Razorpay payment page so that we can capture the details of this new payment in Pabbly Connect. Now to do so, I'll just go to payment pages section of Razorpay and this is a payment page which I have created for online PHP course. Just copy the URL from this page, go to a new tab and paste it over here. And then let's enter the details of a dummy customer and make a test payment. So from this drop down, we will select this payment. The product price is 499 rupees. Then it is asking us for the full name. So here in full name, I'll just enter the name of a dummy user. For example, dummy name. This is the name of the person who is making the payment. After that, let's enter the email address as well. This is the email address of the customer who is making the payment and at last the mobile number. Now here guys, it says your WhatsApp number with country code like this. So we have to enter the mobile number. We have asked our customers to enter the mobile number with country code and without plus sign. So we will enter the mobile number in the same format. Let's enter. And that's it. After entering the mobile number, just click on pay. Let's make the payment using the test card in Razor Pay. Just use the test card. 
This is the card number. This is the expiry, card holder's name, and CVV. Just a second, the expiry date is wrong. And that's it. Just click on pay. And the payment is done. Now we can see that just now we have made successfully made a test payment, a dummy payment on our RazorPay payment page. And because we have connected RazorPay with Pabli Connect, we will see that the details of that this payment which we have made is now captured in Pabli Connect as well. So let's go to our workflow. And yes, guys, here in Pabli Connect, we can see that we have received some response. And in this response, we will see the details of the payment which we have just now made. So we will scroll down and here we can see all the details like the name of the product for which the customer made the payment, the name of the customer who made the payment, the email address, the mobile number of the customer, also the amount of the product as well. So here we have the amount of the product for which the customer made the payment. But guys, here you will notice that the customer made the payment. We made the test payment for 499 rupees. But the response which we have received is of rupees 49,900. This is because guys, while sending the data, Razorpay doesn't support the decimal value. That's why as you can see, it has eliminated the decimal and added the last two zero as well in this response in this value. So first we will be correcting this amount value and then we will send the WhatsApp message. Now to correct this amount value, we just have to divide this complete number by 100. And we will do that by using a feature of Public Connect that is the number format of module. So just scroll down, come to this action window. And here in choose apps, just search for number formatter. After that, in action event from the drop down, select perform math operation. Click on connect. Then we have to enter the numbers. So, what we have to do, we have to map the response of amount which we have received from here over here. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field, and in the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from Rizapi can be seen over here. And after that, from this drop down, select the response of amount and map it. Then just add a comma and we want to divide this number by 100. That's why we have added 100 over here. Then after that, in operations from the drop down, select divide and click on save and send test request. And now we can see that we have received the correct amount for which the customer made the payment. After doing this, now what we have to do, we want to send the WhatsApp message to the customer as a confirmation. And we will be using WhatsApp Cloud API in this video to send the WhatsApp message. Just click on this add action step button at last. And here in choose app, search for WhatsApp Cloud API. WhatsApp Cloud API it is. Just select it. And after that, from the drop down from action event, select send template message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Cloud API account with Pabli Connect. So because guys, I have already created my Cloud API account, that's why I have the details of my Cloud API account like the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. But if you haven't created your WhatsApp Cloud API account yet, don't worry guys, we have a separate dedicated video on that too. And the link of that video will be in the description box below. By referring to that video, you can set up your own WhatsApp Cloud API account and use it. And after creating your account, you will reach to this app dashboard page of WhatsApp Cloud API. And in this page, you will find everything which is required to make the connection, like the temporary access token, phone number ID, and WhatsApp business account ID. So just copy this phone number ID from this page, and then go to the connection window of Pabli Connect and paste it over here. Then copy the WhatsApp business account ID, go to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. Then it is asking us for the token. So here the help text below token says enter system user generated permanent token is explained here. Now guys the token which we get on this app dashboard page is a temporary access token which means this token will expire every 24 hour. But don't worry guys there is a way by which you can generate a permanent access token which will never expire. Now here in public connect connection window, the help text says enter system user generated permanent access token and here you have the hyperlink. Just click on this hyperlink and it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this page, you will find everything which is required to make the connection like everything related to WhatsApp Cloud API, how you can set up your account, how you can generate the Cloud API key, the permanent access token and everything. 
you can refer to this page if you have any queries. And after generating your permanent access token, just enter it over here and click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection, so I will select my old existing connection from the drop down and connect it. Just select this connection and click on save. And that is it guys. We will see that our WhatsApp Cloud API account gets connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, the first thing it asks us is the template name. So guys, you must be thinking, what are these templates? So templates are basically some predefined WhatsApp messages, which we want to send to our customers. Now guys, to send WhatsApp messages using WhatsApp Cloud API, first we have to create a template message in Cloud API, and then we have to get that template approved from Facebook or should I say Meta. And after the approval, we can use that template message to send WhatsApp message to our customers. So here in the drop down below template name, you can see a list of all the templates which I have already created and got approved in my WhatsApp Cloud API account. If you want to create your own template, just go to your app dashboard page and here scroll down to step two. And at last you can see a hyperlink. Just click on it. And in the new tab, you will reach to the message template page of WhatsApp Cloud API. And at this page, by clicking on this create message template button, you can create a WhatsApp message template of your choice. If you don't know how to do it, we have a separate dedicated video on that too. And the link of that video will be in the description box below. You can refer to it to know how you can create your WhatsApp message template and what are the features it offers. And at this same page, you will find a list of all the templates which we have already created and got approved on our WhatsApp Cloud API account. So out of all of these, the template which we are going to use in this video is named as payment underscore update. So let me search for it. Payment underscore update. So this is the kind of WhatsApp message which I want to send to my customers. This message says, hello Akash means the name of the customer who has made us the payment who, from whom we have received the payment. This is a confirmation that we have just received your secure online payment. Amount, so we will be mentioning the amount for which the customer made the payment. Don't hesitate to contact us with any questions or concerns. Thank you, regards. So guys, this is the simple kind of basic message which I want to send. So here guys, you will notice that the amount of the payment for which, uh, the amount of which I am receiving and the name of the customer will be keep on changing for every new payment I receive or every new WhatsApp message which I send. So every time I will be receiving the details of the payments from some new person, some new customer, which means the name of the customer and the amount is basically a dynamic text, which is going to be keep on changing. And to add these kind of dynamic text in our WhatsApp message template, we add some numbers in double curly braces like this. So this number is basically a variable, a body field. Now to add the dynamic text in our WhatsApp message template, we add these body fields. Like after hello, I have added a body field one and we will be entering the name of the customer in place of this body field in our public connect workflow. Then this is a confirmation that we have just received your secure online payment. Then after amount, we have added another body field, the body field two. So here just select this template message in public connect that is payment underscore update. payment underscore update. Just select it. After selecting our template, the language code and template ID are automatically detected. We don't have to make any changes over here. Then the next thing it asks us is the recipient mobile number. Now here guys, we have to enter the WhatsApp number of the customer to whom we want to send the confirmation message. So we have received the WhatsApp number of the customer from Razorpay. So we'll just scroll down to reserve a response and we can see that this is the number which the customer has entered. So we have to actually map this same number, same response over here in this recipient mobile number field. So just click on this field. And as we all saw, the process of mapping is very simple. From the drop down from the responses of Razorpay, select the response of the mobile number of the customer and map it. So this is the response, just select it and map it over here. After that, it is asking us body field one, body field two. So as we I shown you, we have created two different body fields in WhatsApp Cloud API template. And in place of body field one, we wanted to add the name of the customer. So in this field, we will be mapping the name of the customer. Just click here and from the drop down from the responses, select and map the name of the customer. Then it is asking us for the body field two. And in place of body field two, we wanted to add the amount of the 
for which the customer has made the payment. So using number formatter, we have corrected the amount for which the customer made the payment. Just select and map this response over here. And after entering all of these details, all of this data, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a WhatsApp message with the payment confirmation is sent on this number. The same number which the customer has entered on our Razor Pay payment page while making the payment. So let's check the WhatsApp account. We'll go to WhatsApp. And yes guys, here we can see that we have received a WhatsApp message. This message says, hello dummy name, means the same name of the customer which customer has entered on the Razor Pay payment page. This is a confirmation that we have just received your secure online payment. Amount of 499, the same amount for which we made the payment. Don't hesitate to contact us with any questions or concern. Thank you, regards. So guys, this is the same template message which we have created in WhatsApp Cloud API. This means guys, the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, after setting up this automation, we will just get back to our RazorPay account and we will be making a test payment once again. So let's close this. We'll go to RazorPay payment pages section and let's make another payment over here. And this time we will enter some details of some other dummy customer. So let's select the product. The amount is the same because it's the same payment page. Let's enter the name as test name. So this is the name of the person. Okay, so test test one, two, three name. So let's enter, give this name to the customer. Then email address, let me give it an email address as well, a dummy email address. And at last the mobile number. So with country code, we will enter the mobile number of the customer and click on pay. Let's enter the test card details once again for the one last time. Don't save my card details under CVV. Okay, so we have basically made the wrong CVV. Just let me enter the correct one. And that's it. We can see that just now we made another successful payment on our RazorPay account. We have received a payment on our RazorPay account. And as we receive this payment, Instantly, automatically, we will see that a WhatsApp message is sent to the number of the customer who made the payment. Let's go to WhatsApp. And yes, guys, here you can see that we have basically entered the same number. And in this number, we have received a WhatsApp message which says, hello, test123 name. And we have the rest of the template message which we have created with the amount of the payment. This means, guys, the automation is working absolutely fine, absolutely perfectly fine. We have now every time we will receive a new payment on our RazorPay account, instantly, automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to the customer who made the payment regarding the confirmation. So not just these application guys, you can basically integrate plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connects pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.